must get out of here, and before the captain comes after me. This is a nightmare! I must get out of here! I must find another way out. Again? The Valkyria has found us! Perfect! It's my way out ticket. But the iMag is inside the safe room. I must... wait a minute. Am I having a deja vu? What happened? Why am I not dead? This damn bridge again. Jewels. Your mother and I are deeply disappointed with you. Your preposterous pretension of becoming a writer and your incessant failures are transforming the good name of Vern Alot into a joke among respectable people. We have resolved to give you an ultimatum. If, by the end of the year, you don't have an honorable job, we will feel that we only have four sons, not five. Pierre and Sophie. Th th this letter, I have read it before. Me? A writer? Mon dieu! Merde! Why has it that color? God. What the hell is going on? Have I finally turned insane? This light. Oh, my head is killing me. But I must continue. I can't allow neither Nemo nor the Raven to take over the flame. I must stop them. But what can I do? I know. I will look for the ancestors. They will know what to do. Maybe.
God. Will there be any survivor? Nemo! <coughs> oh, Vern! <coughs> I'm glad to see you. What happened to you? Where are the others? Dead. All dead, damn it. My understanding was that good captains always sank with their ships. My crew is dead because of me. My Nautilus, wrecking. No, Vern, I haven't been a good captain at all. However, abandoning the ship was not my idea. An explosion put me down and currents dragged me here. A part of me wants to help you, but the other wants to leave you here, alone with your grief. Tell me, what would you do in my place? That Project H monstrosity would deserve you. Project H? I knew it was infamous, but something inside me kept me moving forward. It was a dreadful solution, yes, but it was perfect. Almost divine. A complete purification. By all gods, Vern, you must believe me. Only a soul sickened by fear and anger would brew something as heinous as Project H. When I saw my wife and my daughter dying by the hands of the nation, I... I could do nothing to save them. They fade in my arms. I took revenge, yes. With my own hands, I cut the throat of the captain that gave the execution order. But I had never been able to get rid of the horror of my own helplessness. And now, my Nautilus, my crew, it's all destroyed. You have opened Pandora's box, Captain. You have brought the flame to the nation's fingertips. You have sentenced mankind. I deserve all your disdains. But let me ask you for a last favor. The iMac. Me and the Nautilus have enough strength to bow out in a blaze of glory. Help me to board back, and I will make sure that the Valkyrie will never take the flame away. By yourself? Are you insane? Maybe. After all, I am Captain Nemo. Let me help you save the world. Will that be enough? <coughs> Perfect. No, I can by myself. I'm sorry that everything has come to this end. In another world, everything would have been different. Better. It has been an honor, Jules Fern. Thanks, Captain. Have a safe journey. God.
The box resists the wreck and kept withstanding. God, again, am I hallucinating? Oh no, destruction once more. It doesn't seem anybody has lived here for centuries. Vern, at last. You are alive. Stop there. I won't let you or the Raven even get close to the flame. Vern, listen to me. I'm on your side. Forget about the Raven and Nemo's plans. There's something much more important at stake. I don't want to hear your reasons. You and Nemo are nothing but murder... <laughs> But what the hell? What was that? Your mind is collapsing. M my mind? What are you talking about? Adriel! <laughs> Paris in the 20th century, written by Jules Verne? That's impossible. I would have given anything for not telling you what I am about to say. This book is very, way very inferior to Five Weeks in a Balloon. If you came to read it within a year, you would agree with me. These words, I've heard them before. To sum it all up, it's a failure. And if 1,000 men told me the opposite, I would tell them to get lost. Nobody will believe today in your prophecies, and nobody will be interested in them. It's signed by Pierre Jules Hetzel. These are the words of your editor. Now, now I remember the rejection, the pain. I know, Vern. That same pain is the reason why you have been brought to this world. You are trapped inside your imagination. What? But, but, who are you? I am yourself. But inside this very world you have created. I was called Placia a long time ago. Impossible! What are you talking about? Is this one of Nemo's rigs? Ah! My head! We're running out of time. You must listen to me. You are not Jules Verne, the scientist. That's not your real identity. Shut up! 
focus. You know you are not from this world. At this very same moment, you are at the Bridge of Ardennes, in Paris. You are about to destroy the last book written by you. What feels like six months to you in your world has been nothing more than 20 seconds. Unconsciously, when you received Hetzel's rejection, you searched for shelter inside you. Who could blame you? You have such magnificent imagination that you have created a world we know as Hemera. Nevertheless, it was fear or Phobos. That was the reason that impelled you to hide in Hemera, and you gave him full powers over your mind. He gave you the paradise that you would never want to leave. Since you arrived here, to that idyllic island after the wreck, I have been trying to leave you a trail of breadcrumbs to carefully drive you to the truth. A too straight or too early revelation could destroy your sanity, but I can't afford subtleness anymore. Phobos, through Raven, is about to get his hands on the flame. All things beautiful and extraordinary you have ever imagined will be obliterated and turned into an infinite wasteland. That is insane. If this is a fantasy, why can't I just wake up? Because in order to do it, you need the flame. It's a portal to your world. If Phobos takes control over it, you will be trapped here forever, in your world. You will turn insane, and you don't have much time left. Where are we? I'm not sure I can take any more jumps. It's one of the main conduits that directly connects with the flame. It will lead us to the Raven himself. We must finish him. Let's go inside. 